Hey everyone, we're back and excited to show you our ball review on the new Axiom Pearl. First off, we want to apologize for the hiatus. We've had some technical difficulties and some issues with work, and we are shooting at a new center, so getting our lighting and everything like that set up took us more time than expected, but we are back and we are excited to be bringing you the Axiom Pearl review, along with some comparisons for it, and all the new stuff coming out in November. We will try to get up as fast as we can. All right, guys, so this ball will not disappoint. We are using our NEX Pearl Reactive cover stock with our orbital core. It comes at 1500 grit polish, smells like peppermint, and is cobalt, graphite, and candy apple red in color. I was definitely a fan of the original Axiom, but I found because it's so controllable and so strong that I didn't really use it in league play a lot. Whereas I think the Pearl is going to come into play on league patterns for both of us quite a bit. Yeah, I knew that I was going to like the Axiom Pearl right away. I typically do like symmetric pearl pieces. I gravitate to those more. Um, just because I like things that are easy to read and predictable. Yeah, and you like the bit cleaner through the front and the pearl tends to give you that, but you need that extra little punch down lane. Whereas for me, I like this pearl because it's another pearl that we've released now that is a little more controllable. It's boomier down lane, I'd say, than the trend is and it's definitely stronger down lane than any other pearl we have, but it's still very readable and controllable because of the nano load in the cover stock. For me with the original, I actually ended up going about two and one left. If I had the original at box finish, it probably would have been a bigger difference for me, but because it's got a tiny little bit of lane shine, not much, it was only about two boards different, and it's just a little bit earlier. It still has that punch down lane because the NEX cover either in the pearl version or the solid version is really strong but it did force me into the volume a little more but you can see definitely how much smoother it is and how much more even and controllable it is down lane that's why I like it for tournaments and for harder patterns whereas on the house pattern here the pearl gives me that little extra punch and little extra entry angle through the pins and you can see the pin carry is crazy with it and the messenger actually went too fast and missed Comparing the two, I was pretty similar with my feet. Um, I did end up having to get a bit right with the original Axiom. It is earlier rolling and slower down lane. Uh, it definitely has a rounder shape to it. I know that that does sound a little bit contradicting that I had to get a little bit more right with my feet when it is an earlier rolling piece, but my original Axiom does have a lot of lane shine on it and it does have a pin down layout on it. So the pin down layout on that really does accentuate the smoothness of the NEX solid cover. So yeah, if I had a fresh surface, I probably would have had to play more left. I know we say that bowling balls will complement each other a lot, and that's always true when we say it, but I think it's even more true with these two because the nano blend on each one is a true blend of the same cover stock, just in a pearl and a solid version. Whereas a lot of balls, they will bring them out and the pearl version or the solid version is a little bit different blend of the original. These shape very similar down lane. They do a lot of things that are really, really close to each other and they're going to play off of one another really well. So if you like one, you'll probably end up liking the other one. All right, guys. So the release date on this ball was October 9th. And if there's any matchmakers near you guys, don't forget to give this one a look because it will not disappoint. And don't forget to keep an eye out for all the new releases coming in November and all our new content. Like I said, we got a new partner in Super Bowl Lanes in Windsor. They've been great to us and we are going to try and get as many videos done there and at a couple other little centers that we might have some surprises for you as well. We're so excited to be back and don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on those notification bells guys. Thanks for watching.